We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. Massive protests break out coast to coast in the wake of the George Zimmerman verdict from New York's Times Square to the streets of Los Angeles. In L.A., a crowd stormed the posh W Hotel on Hollywood Boulevard. Tensions ran high. Police used rubber bullets to disperse everyone. There were testy moments on live television that echoed the divisions in the country over the not guilty verdict. What are you angry about, Mo? What am I angry about? That a murderer got away with murder? No, David, what am I angry about? That you're asking me that question. It's done. It's done. It's done. Done. It's done. Why are you angry? I'm angry because a murderer got away with murder. On The View, Whoopi Goldberg asked Zimmerman's attorneys, Mark O'Mara and Don West, if their client followed Trayvon Martin because he was black. I don't understand. Let me ask the opposite way. If because he's black, can he never look suspicious? Walking down the street, I kind of think no, because I'm black and I walk down the street and somebody says, hey, I think you might snatch my pocket, but I'd be a little pissed. That's just me. (laughs) Sherry Shepard was close to tears. When I look at my son, what do I say to him? And Deborah co-hosted the talk where the Zimmerman trial was topic number one and former O.J. Simpson prosecutor Marsha Clark was a guest. And I thought the prosecution did an effective job of showing inconsistent statements that did not jibe with real self-defense. Mm-hmm. On the flip side, the prosecution and the defense had to deal with what the law was, which was if George Zimmerman felt that he was in fear for his life and at risk of losing his life, then he had the right to use deadly force. On the Huffington Post website, there was this headline, not guilty, but not innocent. The New York Daily News asked, when will it end? The sight of George Zimmerman walking free prompted dozens of tweets from celebrities. From Rihanna, this is the saddest news ever. And John Legend, my heart hurts. Ice Cube tweeted, now he's free to kill another child. And the Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade wrote, wow, stunned, how do I explain? Explain this to my young boys. Nicki Minaj said Zimmerman had killed an innocent, unarmed little boy. But not all the reaction to the not guilty verdict was negative. Hallelujah, wrote conservative commentator Ann Coulter. Former rock star Ted Nugent wrote, God bless real justice. And Donald Trump tweeted, Florida law gave the jury little other choice. Columbia University professor and TV host Mark Lamont Hill says there's not much middle ground in this case. People either were strongly opposed to the verdict, they were outraged, or they were celebrating and pumping their fists in public. And check out this image that's now going viral. It's a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in a hoodie. And while George Zimmerman may now be a free man, his attorneys say he is far from liberated, living in fear for his life. Zimmerman actually wears a disguise, and sometimes he even dons a bulletproof vest when he goes out in public because he believes he's now a marked man. George Zimmerman may have been found not guilty in the death of Trayvon Martin, but he may never truly be free. As angry protests rage around the nation, Zimmerman remains in hiding today. He's in fear. He doesn't fear being put in prison for the rest of his life, but now he fears somebody who doesn't accept the verdict hurting him. George Zimmerman has not been seen since he left the courthouse here in Sanford, Florida, a free man. According to one report, he may have already left the state to escape the threats being made on his life. The threats are are vile, they're vicious, they're disgusting. Zimmerman's brother Robert told CNN that he's in disguise when he goes out and sometimes even puts on a bulletproof vest. The gun used to shoot Trayvon Martin is being returned to Zimmerman and his attorney Don West says he's very likely to carry it. I don't know how he could not lawfully carry a gun at this point. This is the worst time in his life, isn't it? Zimmerman's attorneys blame the media in part for the depth of anger against Zimmerman. I didn't know why he was turned in to this monster, but quite honestly, you guys had a lot to do with it. You just did. Meanwhile, New York Giants wide receiver Victor Cruz is apologizing today for an incendiary tweet he sent following the verdict. Zimmerman doesn't last a year before the hood catches up with him. He deleted the tweet and apologized, calling it a mistake, adding, I believe conversation, not confrontation, leads to change and progress. So what will life be like for George Zimmerman going forward? We spoke to security expert Lou Palumbo. The thing I would say is key to him right now is relocating into a more friendly environment. I think that's essential. He's got to locate 
an area of the country that has not followed the case, that isn't as emotionally driven, and does not have the demographic there that is prone to reaction to this verdict. Zimmerman's situation is being compared to Casey Anthony's. Dubbed the most hated woman in America, she was acquitted last year of murdering her daughter Kaylee and now lives in a secret location, rarely venturing outside. Zimmerman is said to be considering going to law school in the wake of his experience in the legal system. There's no question in my mind that his life is at risk. I mean, the emotion behind this case and the circumstances of this shooting are highly problematic for his safety.